Weco shows up here in Berlin on the IFA with a lot of new smartphones. I've picked out the two most interesting. This is the Ufeel Prime on the left and the Ufeel Fab on the right. And who is remembering my video from Barcelona, from the Mobile World Congress, on my love at first sight of the U-feel with that, yeah, petting backside, like I called it. I really love that one. I was a little bit disappointed, but let me explain. U-feel doesn't mean that you have this backside and it doesn't mean anything because it's not the predecessor of the Prime. It's just a new phone like this one too. Let's start with that. It's a five inch display in full HD. So at that, let's look close. You can see here these tiny text and everything. Very sharp, very crisp. I love that one. And especially you have this, uh, like it's called 2.5D glass. So like a pillow curved on the outer sides here and that curved edges, curved backside. So this is a great haptics. This is aluminum over here, looking very classy and it's resting great in the palm. And five inch, no problem here to reach the opposite corner. So let's stop this, okay. Yeah, I got it. Here we are. So uh, I love that, especially if uh, you need a lot of one hand usage, this might be one for you. S 13 megapixels, video in full HD, and on the front, eight megapixels plus. Look at that, that's a front flash. So you have LED on the front for selfie fans, eight megapixels, doesn't sound that good. And then you have an octa-core processor. So you have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 430, meaning eight cores, 1.5, sorry, 1.4 gigahertz. And here it comes, four gigabyte of RAM. I didn't expect that. So that's a huge. So I hope, uh, let's see how is it doing in the test. But I guess you have quite some horsepower under the boot. 32 gigabyte internal memory, expandable of course, you have a slot on that side, some hybrid combination slots. So you have the choice between two uh, SIM cards or one SIM card and micro SD card that is supported officially up to 64 gigabyte. Of course you have a 4G network. The only thing I didn't find was at the moment here, Wi-Fi AC seems to be not supported, but for that you have a fingerprint sensor here, down there, and you can also use this one as a mechanical home button if you need to, want to, whatever, because you have the soft keys right here. But nevertheless, I wanted to tell you. And with that, oh, by the way, did I call you, tell you this is aluminum, so we have 150 grams, kind of classy weight in the palm. Once more, very solid, very stable. Coming to the Ufeel Fab. Fab because it's a fablet, tap phone, whatever you call it, 5.5 inch. In that case, unfortunately, it's 720p, so 720 by 1280 pixels. I'm coming closer once more. Yeah, well, oh, let's make the complete comparison here on the left. 1080p on the right, 720p on 5 and 5.5 inch. Of course, you see the difference, sure. But I guess it's kind of okay, especially if you hear the price that's coming at the end of the video. I'd say you can live with that. It seems as if it's the same camera on the backside, 13 megapixels video in full HD. On the front, it's only five megapixels, but once more, we have the font flash here too. The processors are completely different. It's the MediaTek 6733, meaning you have four cores instead of eight, 1.3 gigahertz instead of 1.4, completely other um, Mali uh, GPU graphics unit instead of Adreno 505 and two gigabyte instead of four RAM. So you know where the journey is going to, but wait for the price once more. Uh, you have 16 gigabyte internal memory here and um, you have, um, let me open it here. I looked for that one and that's the biggest surprise, I guess. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky here. Yeah, you have 
big battery, 4,000 milliamps. So even on a busy day, you will make it, I guess, or maybe regular users through two, through two or three days, I don't know. You see, the battery is not removable by yourself on the fly, but it's easy for the port, just five minutes or something. So in case you have to change the battery one day, it can't be so much expensive. And when we are looking under the hood, you see that's true, real um, dual SIM, because one slot, second slot, and here the third slot for micro SD. So you do not have to choose between uh, dual SIM or um, uh, here on the left, that was a combination slot, that hybrid slot, you know. So let's close this one and Vico is having celebration here behind me because the first day of the official IFA is over. But let me uh, uh, first explain a little bit more about the specifications. 16 gigabyte internal memory, did I say also? I'm not quite sure. And uh, external, uh, extendable memory, micro SD, 64 gigabyte. And like I told you, both do not support Wi-Fi AC. And you have that fingerprint sensor below here, mechanical if you want to as a home button also here below the touchscreen. Yeah, well, I hope this is enough. I can't talk anymore, if, to be honest, after so many new, day, uh, new devices on one day. So let's uh, call it uh, busyness here is done for this day. It's Rico with the Ufield Prime, uh, round about, yeah, something below 270 euros. I couldn't fix it out better, but including tax, Prices may vary depending on country. This is for Germany, Europe, 270. And this one will be low 200, coming both on October. That's the you feel tap. And that's enough for me. I can't talk anymore, sorry. But thanks for watching. Take care and bye.